All right, what's going on? Um, well, this is another software. This is for Windows, um, preferably Windows Vista or 7 for this to work correctly. This will work on XP, just a little bit slower. Um, this is called the Converter Lite. Converter Lite is basically a video conversion program. Now, this is for people that, um, I guess this can go towards a PS3, a PlayStation 3. Um, PlayStation 3, um, basically supports certain video types. Now, there is other video types that it will not support, for an example. There's, uh, MPEG2. There's, uh, MKV, which is a DVX, uh, DIV, uh, DivX. That's the program. It's, uh, only compatible with that program. This converter will convert any file to AVI. This is basically an X video to AVI video format converter. So, I'm going to show you how to use this program. So, first you're going to install it. I will have the link for download and the information underneath this video. And, uh, basically, I'm just going to run through on how it works. So, I have this video right here. And, uh, this video is a QuickTime movie. It's, if we look at the properties here, let's take a look at the properties real quick. And you will see that it's a .mov right here. This little nice simple thing. .mov. It's that kind of format. And I'm going to convert this to AVI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this program. Now during installation, um, pretty much the installation consists of this. Download it. Double click the execute. Run it and install it. And if there's any other thing like third party other than convert light, please uncheck that box because that will slow your system down. So what you can simply do is you can either drag and drop the video on in here like so, or you can click add and find the video in your system. So I'm going to take this video here and I'm going to say convert to AVI. You can choose XVID full screen, widescreen, widescreen animal fork, and MS compatible AVI. MS is Microsoft, by the way, in case you're wondering. So, without further ado, I'm going to ch uh, check off the XVID full screen here. You can also take regular videos, like uh, say you've downloaded a movie off the internet with a torrent or something that you have purchased, and it's full screen, you can convert it to widescreen if you wish. So, after you do that, you're going to hit the check button and say convert. So that happens, this little command prompt is going to pop up, and it's going to convert this. And it shouldn't take long, I'm just going to let it run through and see what happens. You, If you choose not to do it, then just uh, hit Q to stop the encoding. And uh, the output folder is my documents folder. So if I come over here and open up this folder, and I go to my documents over here and scroll down, you should see your video clip. Now you're going to notice that it says zero bytes if you highlight over or hover your cursor over that. That's normal because it's not going to read any of the data until it's complete. You can see I have the Walking Dead season. And uh, now that it's done, it's uh, 3.66 megabytes. It is in AVI format. So I'm just going to drag and drop this to the desktop real quick. Move it over here. So this is the converted file right here. This is the converted file, and this is the uh, old one. So you can see it's 8.5 megabytes. This one is 3.66 megabytes. Press any key to continue. You can hit the space bar, and it will automatically close, and you can now close the program. Now, let's look at the properties of this file. Actually, I'm going to rename it. <clears throat> this is going to be called the regular name, and this one is going to, basically, I'm just going to do this. So this is the second one, and this is the first file. Now, let's look at the properties for this one. Drag and drop it over here. You can see it's .mov. Look at the properties for this one. Drag and drop this over here. Image 141, or 1441 properties. General name quicktime movie.mov opens with a window media player 
image 14412 type of video or type of file video clip dot avi opens with windows media player size has changed the definition has changed you have now successfully converted your video to avi and now it's compatible with your ps3 your file reading dvd player blu-ray player or whatever else you want to use it on it has been converted so that is the movie changed uh, so let's move forward now and uh, let's see what else I can do so I'm gonna pop this up real quick and I'm gonna go over to uh, my uh, terabyte here go to my documents and let's go to videos and let's see um Now, this right here is a 3G PP audio video. I'm going to drag and drop this over here, like so. I'm going to exit that. Now, this is the X. It's 179 KB in 13 seconds, so let's open up the converter light here. <clears throat> I'm going to drag and drop that file into here, like so. Output destination. I'm just going to say uh, C colon slash and change it to desktop and I'm just gonna hit convert Hit convert the conversion process will continue and uh, that didn't take long at all uh oh okay where the fuck is it do, 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 do. Try that again. There we go. That's why. Alrighty. Now let's hit convert. Hmm. Unsupported codec. That's a surprise. Is there at least a file on my desktop? Hey! No nope, boy. There we go. Okay, well, let's see if it worked anyway. It did convert, but it's no bytes. So that won't work. So we'll delete that. So 3GPP is not compatible with this program. So let's try again with a different video. So let's go to my terabyte again. Go to videos. <coughs> and uh, let's see. Home video. Let's see. What's this? What kind of file is this? 3GPP. Uh, that's not going to work. Uh, let's see. Ah, what's this one? Properties. That's also 3GPP. How about this one? What's the properties on this one? Can I fucking. Thank you. Okay, WMV. Let's try this one. So I'll drag and drop this over onto my desktop here. So we have video 00002. Let's take a look at the properties real quick. Again, it's a WMV. So let's try this with the program. Open it up here. Drag and drop that. Let's browse and click the desktop because I like to make things easy. And let's keep it at full screen. Let's hit convert and see what happens. So this is going to convert the video. Um, it's converting, so it is compatible with uh, the WMV. It's compatible with most videos, not old video formats, I guess. 3GPP is old video format, I'm going to say, because it was what we could record with, with our cell phones back in the day. Now all of our cell phones record... Uh, either high definition 3GP instead of 3GPP or um, MOV format. So yeah, I'm just going to pause this real quick and wait until this is done because we've seen the process before. So hold on one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and uh, it has finished converting. So click that, any key, I like to use this base bar because you know, whatever. So we converted the WMV to AVI. So, again, I'm going to rename this 
to a number two. Here's the first video. So I'm going to right click on the properties here, drag these over, right click on these properties, drag this over. And we can look at it right now. Video 00002 is the type of file of Windows Media Audio video file, which is WMV. And if we look at the video 00002 properties, we will see that the type of file is a video clip. AVI. So again, you have successfully converted the video to AVI. Like I said, this will work with many types of videos. I'll delete these files because I do not need them. It will work with most video files. If you tend to find a file that is a video type that it does not work with, please feel free to leave a comment below to let other people know and I will type that in the information of updated because I have yet to learn on what is compatible on this program but I found it very useful I found it to work with MPG, MPEG1, MPEG4 uh, even AVIs which would make sense because it's an AVI converter DVX um, MKV and uh, MP4, WMA, and WMV. So that's what it works with. Feel free to leave your comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my website and blog. I will have the link for download for the installer execute. And uh, shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching. And I hope this helps you. Enjoy.